going to talk about modeling chimneys in ARCHICAD. Um, I had a reader email me a question about how to do this chimney that we see on the screen right now. And I thought, eh, instead of just writing an email, why don't I just record a video and share it with everybody. So here is the image um, of the chimney. I've just dropped this into ARCHICAD for reference. And the technique I use to do chimneys is mostly complex profiles. And so let me run you through how to do that with complex profiles, then we'll talk about some other solutions and I'll show some examples. So the first thing to do is um, to draw this, this out, which I've done already. Uh, basically, I've used the uh, fill tool to draw everything, and I'm drawing everything just on the plan because it's kind of nice and easy to do. Um, if I were doing this for a real project, I would have the measurements, or I'd count bricks, or I'd do whatever. So the proportions for this are a little off, but you get the point. Um, and so let's look at the pieces that I've um, drawn. I, I drew the basic body of the chimney. Um, I've drawn these curved pieces. Uh, I drew two fills for this um, chimney cap. And then I've drawn these fills here for this uh, belt course that runs around the top. Um, and doing the chimney this way, you want to think about the complex profiles in one or two manners. Is um, the form you're going to model something that's like a linear extrusion, or is it something that's wrapping around the, the body of the form? So for instance, the overall shape of this chimney is just you know, this shape here extruded back. The same with these curved pieces and that top. Uh, but this belt course is more of a, a wrapping piece. Um, so with that in mind, the other way you want to break it down is into different surfaces. So, or surfaces and materials. And we'll come back to the materials part later. So because um, this curved piece right here um, stands proud of the face of the chimney, I want to model that separately. So, um, hopefully that makes sense. So I've modeled this. What I'm going to do now, um, take my key, uh, select the fill tool, Command A, so I can select all my fills. I'm going to copy. I'm going to open up the complex, uh, the profile manager. I'm going to make a new profile. Um, I'm going to paste those in here. Uh, once they're in here, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks. Uh, with all those fills, I'm going to uh, set everything up. I'm going to select the materials I want here, and it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, but um, this is just an example, so I'm going to select those materials. If I hit store right now, all this stuff is going to merge into one. I don't want that. What I want to do is I want to separate these out into complex profile, into separate profiles. And the trick to do that is, once you've done all the heavy lifting, you set that all up, select everything, copy it, deselect one of them, delete everything else, hit store. Um, let's do this and go example. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that example, uh, delete that, paste everything back in. You notice it's all pasted in the same spot. Then I'm going to delete another set of things, hit store, example one, that's fine. Uh, duplicate, delete that, paste, so on and so forth. So what ends up happening is um, you've done all the work and now you're just copying and pasting everything in. Why that matters, um, I'm going to go over to the complex profiles I made in preparation for this. Uh, let's not store that. So we got um, my part one, my part two, my part three, my part four, part five. You'll notice parts one through four, which are all the extrusion pieces, they all have the same origin, which means when we go to place this in the model, once we place one and we get it set, we just have to copy and paste um, the other one, change the complex profile, and everything will be lined up because they're all off the same origin. I'll explain that when we model it. Um, so those are all have the same origin. The only one that doesn't is this piece, which is going to be extruded around in, um, you know, it's going to, will extrude around in a, in a box on the plan. Um, also, you'll note that this one is set up to be a wall, whereas everything else is set up to be a beam. I found for doing extrusions with complex profiles, beams work um, for a variety of reasons better than, than walls. 
Um, I don't know if that will change much in 17, but I'll hopefully mention something about 17 in a moment. Um, the other thing to do is you'll notice here in the materials that not all the materials are the same. So for instance, um, this is kind of a um, soldier course. Well, while this is maybe something a little different. So we can go in here and select the face and give uh, custom faces. Uh, I've, I've got a video if you look on YouTube that talks more about complex profile creation, so I don't want to spend too much time on that. So once we've made all those complex profiles, um, we can go ahead and, and place one. So let's start with placing that, and let's say it's uh, three feet. Um, so now if we look at that in 3D, there's our, there's our chimney. Um, if we, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste. So now, um, if we look up here in my info box, you see I've got two selected. I can deselect one, I'm going to select this, and I'm going to change it to part two. Now if we go to 3D again, you see that part two is already in the right spot because the origin is there. So if we now go and change it to part three, you know, part four, these are all in the right spots because the, the origin that they're being based off is all in the same. It's a great, great trick. So then the only part that's, I don't want to say tricky, but um, takes a little more effort because it doesn't depend on that origin point, um, which by the way, put one piece in, go to your model and set the height right, then everything else just falls into place. So um, the belt course, we're just kind of snapping it in like that. Um, and then you see it's it's in the the wrong spot, so you just got to you know, bring it up into place. Um, and if I were doing it for real, I would uh, maybe go to section, whatever, spend a little more care and make sure that that snaps into place. Um, but so that's, you know, it was pretty fast there, right? So let me go over to... Um, the completed version, you can't see the air quotes I just made, the completed version I did in preparation for this model. So this is just the dummy um, Archicad 16 house model. And here is let's see that chimney modeled with all um, complex profiles. So um, I've just used complex profiles, and if we go look at the plan, you can see the plan's not that pretty. I haven't spent any time to clean it up. Um, depending on the goal of the model, you can clean up that floor plan symbol either through a little more care of how these objects are placed and what layers they're on, so you're hiding some of them, um, through making it a morph, and then you have more control over what the chimney looks like, because you could select all of all of this stuff um, and then click the Make Morph button. Uh, then you could save it as an object, you could do all sorts of things, and again, I've got videos on that. Or, conversely, um, I made this whole body one extrusion. The extrusion really doesn't have to be anywhere. It could, this could all be made with walls, so in the plan it looks nice, and then your solid element operating these pieces and slapping that on top. So to get the floor plan, it's just how many different ways you want to do it. Um, the other piece is that these extrusions like this and that top piece could be a shell. And I've done that, and there's a there's some advantages to it, but complex profiles are so nice and fast. Um, a nice change that's coming in 17, which I can't show you today, but I can just tell you about because this is all public knowledge now. Um, the, at least I believe it is, um, complex profiles when you, um, and composites, when you look at it, um, uh, how am I trying to say this, um, you look at the ends of it, right now if we look at this, oh, let me show it this way here, uh, if you look at the end of a complex profile, it's just one, um, one material. You see, it's, there's, no, there's no differentiation, even though you know this material is different from that on the side, it's just one dummy one. In 17, um, because we're now going to have building materials, the building material will show through. So um, if you're looking at this face on, this part would be different. Surface 
color than this part, which means um, you've got some other cool tricks you can do with extruded complex profiles because as it stands now, it's just dumb in one material, um, but in 17 you could have this face have different materials as part of the extrusion. Okay, this video is getting long, so I want to wrap it up, but I want to show you some other chimney examples while I have you here. Um, this is another, um, this is a project I uh, did many years ago. It's got, the chimney cap is the same um, complex profile concept with this step in with so many ARCHICADs open and recording a movie, things are sometimes hard to select. Um, but this is, uh, so that's a complex profile on top, and then, uh, okay. so that's a complex profile on top, and then this wall here is just a regular wall, um, and then what you're seeing, this is so frustrating, um, just need to turn off the editing plane. Anyways. This wireframe you're seeing here is um, a solid element operation, operator that's hidden that's slicing through this um, vertical wall to get it. I could have done it with a slanted wall, but I had some reasonings at the time, I think because there's a lot of walls here and some, some really intricate stuff, because in plan this looks just beautiful. Um, and then these tiles are, I think, little beams that are extruded and, oh, I guess they're, they're walls. They could have been beams that were extruded and tilted. Um, and this is a good example of something in 17 that you could get all those tiles to appear um, by having different building materials with one complex profile, whereas to get this to work in, I think, 11, where I did this project, um, I had to do a couple of um, complex profiles. You can see them highlighted because the... Um, each complex profile is a different um, material that looks the same, and what happens is you get the, the lines between them. So that's that chimney. Um, the next chimney is this guy here, uh, which this actually uses a shell as an operator right here to cut that step. The shell as an operator was really nice because as I was working on this, I could just go into section or elevation and move the shape of the, of the shell and so I could see this form, this kind of final form evolve in real time. Um, the bottom of this is just a um, regular wall that's been cut. The top is the same complex profile concept where you get all the, you know, it's one piece with the, the steps to the top. The um, chimney pots are again um, complex profiles revolve using a circle. Again, that, this was just done pre-morph. That could be a good morph solution. Though I would recommend making them with complex profiles because that's really easy, and then maybe turning it into a morph. Um, and the last piece is that this project has a uh, kind of some insets, and I did that with a solid element operation, um, or solid element operator. And the operator is a complex profile, and I just put them in there. I don't know why I didn't use the niche tool, because that would work as well. Um, maybe I didn't think of it at the time, or it just didn't have a rounded top the way I wanted. Um, there's some other cool tricks in this model, which if people see anything, mention. Um, that's a good point. In any of these existing houses, if you see some interesting modeling techniques and you want to know, hey, Jared, how did you do it, um, ask away. So I'll leave with this. Um, this was done all pre-morph, and there's a whole lot of cool tricks to show in this project that I'd love to talk about another time. Um, but this chimney, which looks pretty complex um, from you know a distance, is actually quite simple. It's, I believe, one complex profile. Yeah, the whole top to bottom is one. Um, and all the ins and outs are just created by um, Let's go to, yeah, look at the look at the floor plan. It's just by done by kind of tracing that form. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up because this is now the longest video I've done. Um, but complex profile trip is a great way to create some very intricate chimneys. And of course, this is, you should think of this as a chimney as a proxy for all sorts of other um, objects and elements, like for instance these um, 
these columns here or uh, you know what's going on up here so ask me and I'll show you guys how to do this stuff in another video thank you very much have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys later